Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This of that uh, group dynamics, uh, now we will talk about the team formation that is the how we can form a team and the team work and uh, importance of teams uh, creating the effective teams, uh, key roles of the teams will be there, effective team characteristics and the team building, uh, team leadership model, uh, leadership prescriptions of the model, uh, the, as usual the case study, research papers and the book recommendations will be there. So, what is the teamwork? The sum of the efforts undertaken by the each team member for the achievement of the team's objective is called the teamwork and the individual performances uh, do not count in a team and it is the collective performance of the team is there, right. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the teamwork is there, right. So, it, it, it is the efforts uh, undertaken by the each team member collectively. Uh, of course, we have to also understand that it is the, it is the uh, not on the basis of the uh, one person only because uh, whenever the teamwork is there, this cannot be completed uh, unless and until the uh, every member of the team it uh, 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 does not work, right. So, therefore, it, it this will not be fair to give an uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, the credit to the one team member only. Every member in a team has to perform and contribute uh, in his best possible way to achieve a common predefined goal is there. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case uh, naturally um, as we have seen that is the all group members or team members uh, uh, they are working for the common uh, uh, goal. So, predefined goal is there and uh, on basis of that uh, uh, they try to you know, work and uh, uh, this accomplishment of goal will be possible uh, by the uh, formation of the every the individual uh, to contribute towards that particular common goal. Now, we will try to understand uh, the what is the importance of teams is there. So, following primary benefits can result from the introduction of the work teams that is the improved employee motivation and that is the work teams help in enhancing the employee motivation, team encourages employee involvement and this make the jobs more interesting and fulfill the social needs of the employees, right. So, therefore, it is always the motivation of the employees uh, that is required to be enhanced, right, that is to be encouraged. So, whenever we are having these, uh, uh, these uh, employee involvement is increasing, right, and uh, therefore, uh, uh, this makes the job uh, naturally uh, they get involved, more involved in the job, right. Uh, because they are fulfilling the social needs of the employees. Now, there is a positive synergy because the uh, group into team will be possible only when there is a positive synergy is there. Ultimately, what it leads? It leads to the satisfaction of the social needs is there. So, uh, the teams can satisfy his, uh, this need of the employees by increasing worker interactions and creating a feeling of the brotherhood and friendship among the team members is there. So, uh, this is creating the social need. So, as we know that is the when we, we talk about the motivational level. So, that is after the physiological and safety needs according to Maslow, the social needs are becoming very, very important and uh, the, the social needs uh, by, by, by working together, having the association basically and whenever the team members are having the association, their social needs are fulfilled. Commitment to team goals. So, teams generally develop a common purpose um, uh, which we have mentioned the goal, commitment to that purpose and the agreement uh, upon the specific goals are there. Um, the improved organizational communication is there and that is the teams encourage interactions, it will lead to improved communication is there. So, here um, it, it is uh, necessary that is whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the organizational uh, uh, communication, right. So, there has to be uh, uh, the smooth flow of information and whenever there is a teamwork, then the teamwork is creating that is sm smooth flow of the uh, information. 
Now the benefits of the expanded job training is there, the implementation of the teamwork always leads to expanded uh, job training, right. So always this will, this will be having that uh, the work ex ex experience there and uh, as a result of which the organizational flexibility develops. Uh, management has found that teams are more flexible and responsive to changing events than our traditional departments or the other forms of the permanent grouping is there. So, um, this type of these uh, when uh, uh, you are having the team members working with the team group members are involved then definitely in that case uh, those uh, what were the traditional departments right uh, that permanent grouping. So, then the, the, that, that has not been the uh, the criteria right rather than there there is an enthusiasm. So, how to uh, create the effective teams right. Uh, so, this is about these uh, context uh, composition and the process is important. So, adequate resources are required and the uh, whenever we in the uh, there for the team effectiveness uh, you have main, machine, material, money, method, minutes all six M's when they are adequately uh, available then definitely in that case there will be no conflict among the team members. Leadership and the structure is that is what type of the leadership these um, this team is having and uh, what is the structure between the uh, that uh, team leader and uh, team members are there. Climate of trust uh, having the trust amongst themselves and performance evaluation and the reward system is there uh, which is the encouraging and motivating. Then uh, numbers of the team members that is a composition, abilities of the members, personality, allocating the roles, diversity, size of the teams, uh, member flexibility and the member preferences will be there. So, therefore, in that case that is the what sort of the composition will you have and then what sort of this uh, team will be created. Uh, the process will be the common purpose, uh, the specific goals, team efficacy, conflict levels and the social loafing will be there. So, in the case of this particular uh, processes uh, we will find it is the what is the common purpose. And if there is a common purpose, then definitely it will be successful. Now, these points we will be discussing in length. The four contextual factors most significantly related to team performance are the that uh, larger, larger organization system. Every work team relies on the resources outside the groups to sustain it, right? And this uh, leadership, uh, what type of the teams cannot function if they cannot agree on who is to do what and ensure all members share the workload is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, that structure uh, that is a delegation and decentralization whatever the structure is there between the leader and the follower um, that, that has to be taken care of. So, here it, it, will, it will be important that is uh, if you are having the proper structure of the group right. So, then this leadership that will be creating uh, ensure the uh, uh, will be ensuring. So, leader will ensure that is the all these aspects right between the all these positions and that has been be fulfilled. So, that they share the workload is there and whenever these uh, members uh, um, those uh, who are uh, uh, these uh, making this uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, the sharing of the workload right amongst the all these members, this member organization structure and leadership structure. Then definitely in that case uh, uh, that, that, uh, that, that will create uh, uh, the more, more effective leadership is there. The climate of trust is important that is the members of effective team must uh, uh, trust each other and they also exhibit the trust in their leaders are there and uh, uh, whenever you are having that uh, trust amongst your leaders you will be fine that is this performance evaluation and reward system uh, which has been because the trust is there and the climate of trust will uh, uh, that will create about uh, um, this uh, how uh, these uh, rewards are distributed. Normally, the, uh, the rewards will be distributed and incentives may be interfered with the development of the high performance teams and whenever there will be the high performance teams will be there and that will decide about that is uh, how um, these uh, motivation level of the team members are there. The team composition. So, team composition category includes the variables that relate to how teams should be staffed that is the abilities of members so that is a part of a team's performance and depends on the knowledge, skills and abilities of its individual members are there and therefore, in that case what level of knowledge 
what sort of knowledge is required, which skills are required, uh, technical skills, human skills, conceptual skills, analytical skills, designing skills, which skills are required and what type of the abilities is required. So, therefore, in that case uh, these abilities of the members uh, that will decide about the composition, the personality of members. Personality significantly influences individual employee behavior. Uh, for example, we will talk about uh, uh, some members uh, uh, they are uh, highly enthusiastic, some members are moderate, right. So, therefore, in that case uh, what type of the decisions will be taken uh, by the team uh, uh, hopefully uh, that, that will be moderate to high. Allocation of roles are there, different needs and members should be selected to ensure all the various roles are uh, filled. So, diversity of members, uh, team diversity affect the team performance uh, um, and uh, in that case uh, the diversity of members uh, 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 it depends uh, that is what is the cohesiveness level is there between the team members. So, if the team diversity normally it has been seen that is when the diversified team is there the overall performance will be better, but how will be the relationship between the team members uh, that will be decided um, by the team to team only. Not every employee is a team member. Now, this is the very, very important point that every member uh, we have understood the difference between the group and team. So, by because of the position the people are there, but not necessarily they will be having this uh, uh, the, the team members quality or the followers quality. So, what are the different roles are there linker, creator, promoter, assessor, organizer, producer, uh, controller, maintainer and the advisor is there. So, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the linkers role right. So, linker is making the coordination and integration among the different activities are there and therefore, uh, so the, he is required to be the strong, uh, strong uh, linker right. So, they, because he will be able to coordinate and integrate whatever work has been done. So, creator will be the initiate creative ideas will be there and therefore, the creator will create those ideas and the promoter will be and the, those who are the cha champions ideas and if they are initiated. Similarly, you will find it is the assessor is there, organizer is there, producer is there, controller is there, maintainer is there right and advisor. So, encourages the search for the more information. So, in the case whenever we are talking about these uh, the member preferences are there. So, member preferences may be as per their personality. So, somebody may like to be the uh, linker uh, as a coordinator, somebody may, uh, may like to be the controller right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, this will be depend upon the personality of the individuals. Team processes, common plan and purpose is there. So, effective teams begins by analyzing the team's mission, developing goals to achieve that mission and creating strategies for achieving that these goals are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, this uh, uh, whatever the uh, teams be, uh, analyzing the teams mission is there, what is the teams uh, uh, mission and developing goals to achieve that mission is there. So, for the accomplishment of the mission objectives or goals will be designed and creating strategies for achieving the goals are there, there is a planning process complete. So, specific goals successful teams translate their common purpose into specific measurable and realistic performance goals are there. Now, the team efficacy is concerned, effective team has a confidence in themselves. They believe they can succeed, we call this team, team efficacy is there. The mental models team members knowledge and beliefs about uh, how the work gets done by the team is there. So, whenever these uh, uh, mental models are working right, so there in that case uh, uh, that uh, the uh, um, uh, here uh, the effectiveness of the team performance uh, that can be controlled and directed. Conflict levels are there, conflict, uh, the complex relationship with the team performances is there and the social loafing is there and co that is the cost on the group's effort is there and therefore, in that case, in the case of the team processes, this become very, very important that is the people they are liking themselves. Effective team characteristics and team buildings are that is the uh, four variables are there they are like the task. Hmm? So, does the team know what is its task is? So, that the uh, that effectiveness of the team characteristics and team building will be developed once the, the team is knowing what is the task is and then the accomplishing the task accordingly. The boundaries are there, it is a collective membership of the team appropriate for the task to be performed and therefore, in that case uh, that whatever the task is to be performed uh, that, that has to be created by the particular um, uh, that, uh, that organization and the team only. So, that what is allowed and what is not allowed. Does the team share an appropriate set of norms by working as a, as a team? Yeah, so, therefore, we have talked about the norms. So, norms are to be there. 
there has to be the authority uh, leader established a climate where her, her authority can be used as a flexible rather than a rigid manner is there and therefore in that case uh, the team should be able to make this uh, uh, the uh, authority uh, which can be, which can be then whenever the need based need based it can be used it may not be the regularly but the need based that authority can of that particular group uh, and team that can be uh, uh, used and therefore when you are using your authority in the uh, proper manner uh, you will be more 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 successful towards your accomplishment of the goals are concerned so therefore in that case to help the team leaders uh, these various levels right task boundary norms and authority so uh, and for example junior level middle level senior level can, can develop the concept of organizational skills your critical factors for team design task boundary norms and authority are necessary for the group to work effectively is there so they have uh, in the one circle there may be the one is applicable other is not on the on the whole, um, whole processes there will be all the four task boundary norms and authority that may be applicable so they have uh, what what will be the organizational shells this is called the organizational cells shells and therefore which a shell is uh, applicable and uh, that will be decided by the organization or by yourself only and uh, on the basis of the situation which we are having and therefore in that case uh, uh, but uh, ultimately what is important that all th four parameters they are equally important they are supposed to be followed now um, here um, that uh, uh, critical factors uh, in designing that that will be successful in that in, in the terms uh, uh, that is the uh, the leader hmm? leadership and uh, will be uh, of a strong uh, to convert uh, this team at work uh, into more more fruitful or more productive so therefore that leader team effectiveness can be possible if the leader is capable enough to approach approach uh, the all these uh, four parameters so team leadership model uh, 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 that, that that approach uh, for this particular shell inputs at the base that is what is the input has been given in the individual team and organizational factors are there and the processes is there in the center what the team actually does to convert inputs to outputs and what we can tell about the team by actually observing team members at work so therefore in that case there is a always prescribed process is there so which which has to be converted uh, the team into the input into output and this can be done by observing the members at work and whenever we are talking about the team leadership model so we have to make the relationship uh, about the input and process as a result of which you will get the output so at output at the top how well the team did in accomplishing its objective ideally a high performance team is there so whether you are able to achieve that output or not that that will depend on the uh, that uh, organization right so with, uh, I, I, if it is there able to accomplish the objectives right and uh, ideally a high performance team is there then definitely in that case the outputs uh, are, are achieved right and the successful uh, uh, the, the team performance has been done so um, in, in the input process and output uh, it is very very important that is the Mm, our our uh, the uh, i individual team and organizations and, and they all are working to, uh, together in the common goal in iceberg a metaphor for the systems theory applied to teams uh, in iceberg almost uh, everyone can see the outputs of the team is there uh, the portion of the iceberg above the water line uh, and in some case see the processes where most of the inputs are in the organization background or the underwater in the iceberg metaphor is there so therefore in that case uh, this is the inside of the water but uh, anyone uh, who has seen an iceberg recognizes that most of its mass is the part that is underwater and this part supports the part that is the visible is there so whatever is visible is a small part but the most of the part is the um, under the water and the small part is based on the large part so therefore in that case it means that that is the whenever you are having this is uh, you see the output of the team but you do not know who are the people behind that particular output you, you may not know that is the how those uh, uh, individual characteristics uh, team factors and organizational systems that there is uh, that is the that input and that has uh, contributed 
towards the output is there and, 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 and the, the, the process and the process is having the leadership uh, activities. So, that leadership which has been performed uh, then uh, this part uh, is very uh, is, uh, is uh, contributed by the lower part. So, team leadership model uh, that is a TLM uh, uh, outcomes of the high performance teams in this image the output part of the model is elaborated. So, uh, in input it is organizational systems, team factors, individual characteristics and what is going on right and HPT goals are there that is individuals are the satisfied outcomes are acceptable to the stakeholders right and uh, because the high performance teams uh, that is the future capability of the team improves. So, uh, in, in the case of the in this input process and output the, those who are the individuals right uh, they are satisfied and when whenever they are satisfied we will say the outcomes are acceptable to the stakeholders are there. Uh, but as uh, mentioned uh, earlier that is the role of the individuals and organization system. Hmm? So, um, the, this will be highly influencing the team factors are there. So, you can say that is the uh, high performance teams are there and high performance teams are creating these uh, uh, the uh, output uh, which is highly acceptable, but what is uh, basically required is that is required is the contribution, contribution is uh, uh, by understanding the system what is going on. And then in that case if the system is uh, going very positively then there is no problem to come out with the high performance team model. So, e e it will depend on the individual characteristics also. And in these uh, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in this uh, individual characteristics, uh, that process will be affected. So that's why it is given. Uh, that is the effort, skills, and knowledge, strategy, and the group dynamics are there. So in, in the process, right? So diagnose the team using the process variables. So, uh, here um, it will be always that is the what will be the uh, organizational systems uh, team factors and individual characteristics uh, and that, that, that will be uh, decided and uh, on basis of this uh, the, uh, the team leadership model that will work. Uh, so, these four processes measures of effectiveness provide criteria by which we can examine how teams work. If a team is to perform effectively it must uh, work hard enough have sufficient knowledge and skills uh, within the team to perform the task, have an appropriate strategy to accomplish its work or ways to approach the task at hand and they have constructive and positive group dynamics among its members is there. The group dynamics refers uh, to the interactions among the team members including such aspects as how they communicate with others, express feeling towards each other and deal with the conflict with each other is there. In input process, the iceberg model shows that there are three sub stages included in uh, the stages of the uh, team leadership model. In team situations, inputs are what is available for teams as they go about their work, and the individual characteristics, team factors, and other systems are the three factors in the input stages there. Now, um, the most important point is there is the interaction, interaction between the individual level to the environmental level is there. So, what type of the individual level to the en environmental level um, that is interacting, at what level they are interacting and then there those intellect, uh, in interaction is at the appropriate stage then there will be the uh, high potential team, high performance team will be there. Uh, this level surrounded and affected team design level is there and the uh, this is the creation basically. Ideally, a team should be created as we build a house or automobile, start with a concept, create a design, engineer if it to do what we want to it to do, then manufacturer it to meet those uh, specifications are there. So, therefore, it is, it is always starts with a uh, that is the concept which you want to implement and then you have to create a design also and, uh, and, and here we will find that is the ultimately the high potential team uh, that will be depending upon the uh, parameters uh, which will be creating uh, the dream design and development is there. So, these three functions of the leadership that will work. So, diagnosis and leverage point team leadership model will be right. Uh, so, therefore, these are the four stages and in the four stages ultimately we are able to get that particular particular um, the uh, high performance team is there and therefore, high performance teams uh, 
then uh, this uh, control system, uh, authority dynamics, uh, um, the interpersonal behavior and the group dynamics that will lead uh, to the high performance teams are there because that is knowledge and skills and abilities, team composition and uh, uh, education system is concerned uh, that will contribute uh, in, into the formation of this particular model. As usual, this is a case study, uh, why do not team works like they are supposed to, right? And what are the main factors? Um, because uh, we talk, uh, why we talk about so much about the team building? Basically, this team building is not that common, right? And it requires uh, 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 these, uh, uh, the education that how we can uh, uh, for, form a team. And uh, these are what do you think of the elements of successful teamwork Heckman has identified? And do you believe these elements are necessary for the effective team performance? Uh, can you think of other conditions necessary for teams to be effective? So, you are effective, you are creative uh, contribution that will uh, our practical experience right that will help. Imagine you have been asked to assemble and lead a team of high potential new hires to work on the development of an international marketing campaign. What specific steps might you take uh, early in the team's life to ensure that the new team is able to avoid some of the problems uh, Ekman identified? Is there any way to break down the overall group goal so into the subtasks so individuals accountability and that can be enhanced? Uh, as usual this is a research paper, effects of learning culture and teamwork context on team performance mediated by the dynamic capability. Uh, and uh, we here with uh, in this research paper, uh, uh, the uh, I am sure that you will be able to um, uh, understand the importance of dynamic capability for improving the performance of teams. And this is the book which has been referred as the, the group processes and therefore, in that case uh, uh, how we can give together. So, because the team is the uh, together everyone achieves more and that how we can give this uh, uh, the output that, that will be uh, uh, you can learn from this particular book also. You, uh, it is an interesting and, uh, and especially the social identity and social context that has been taken into consideration uh, because as we have seen that is the individual uh, uh, differences that can make a lot of impact on the high potential team is there. These are the references which you can refer for your further studies uh, and uh, you can create uh, the high performance teams by understanding this literature. Thank you.